Euclid's division lemma. We will understand it with an example. Let us take a simple division. 8 by 2. See here. We will write like this. This is simple division. You already know it from your earlier classes. Nothing is new here. See, this is dividend and this is the divisor and this one is quotient and this is the remainder. In this division, we got remainder as 0. Let us take one more example. 20 by 3. See here. In this division, we got remainder as 2. We got the quotient as 6. But is this answer correct or not? How do we check the answer? To check the answer, we write the number in this form. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. That is equal to 20 is equal to 3 into 6 plus 2. Here, 20 is our dividend. 3 is divisor. 6 is quotient and 2 is remainder. So, 20 is equal to 18 plus 2. That is 20 is equal to 20. So, our answer is correct. So, now we can write A is equal to BQ plus R. Condition is 0 less than equal to R less than B. Either remainder can be 0 as it is in our first case or greater than 0. But remainder is always less than the divisor. This is called the Euclid's lemma. First we will understand what is lemma. Lemma is nothing but a proven statement used for proving another statement. Euclid's division lemma states that for any two positive integers, say A and B, the condition A is equal to BQ plus R, where 0 less than equal to R less than B, means R lies between 0 and B, always holds true. Mathematically, we can express this as dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now let us take some examples by using Euclid's division lemma. Example 1. Show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer. Solution We can take a as positive odd integer. Also, let q be the quotient and r be the remainder. After dividing a by 6, now we should use Euclid's division lemma. What Euclid lemma says? a is equal to bq plus r, where 0 less than equal to r less than b. This is Euclid's lemma, isn't it? Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Here A is dividend, B is divisor, Q is quotient, R is remainder. Now we will take B is equal to 6. B is divisor. We have to put the value of B as 6 in this lemma. A is equal to 6Q plus R where 0 less than equal to R less than 6. As per that remainder R can be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. R should not be more than 5 because here, B is equal to 6. B is our divisor. For Euclid's division lemma, the condition is that R is always less than B. That means, remainder 
should be less than the divisor. Now we should put the value of r. If r is equal to 0, that is a is equal to 6q plus 0, we have to write 0 here, that is a is equal to 6q. If r is equal to 1, now the equation will be a is equal to 6q plus 1. If r is equal to 2, then a is equal to 6q plus 2. If r is equal to 3, then a is equal to 6q plus 3. If r is equal to 4, then a is equal to 6q plus 4. If r is equal to 5, then a is equal to 6q plus 5. But here a is equal to 6q, a is equal to 6q plus 2, a is equal to 6q plus 4 are even. Hence, when a is odd, it is in the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, 6q plus 5 for some integer q. Hence, it is proved. We will check which one is odd and which one is even. Assuming q is equal to 2 in the equation, we get for the first case a is equal to 6q that is a is equal to 6 into 2 because q is equal to 2. Therefore, 6 into 2 is equal to 12. So, 12 is an even number. Case 2, a is equal to 6q plus 1 which is a is equal to 6 into 2 plus 1, a is equal to 13. So, 13 is an odd number. Case 3, a is equal to 6q plus 2, that is a is equal to 6 into 2 plus 2 is equal to 14. So, a is equal to 14. 14 is an even number. Case 4, a is equal to 6q plus 3, that is a is equal to 6 into 2 plus 3 is equal to 15. So, a is equal to 15. 15 is an odd number. Case 5, a is equal to 6q plus 4. That is, a is equal to 6 into 2 plus 4 is equal to 16. So, a is equal to 16. 16 is an even number. Case 6, a is equal to 6q plus 5. That is, a is equal to 6 into 2 plus 5 is equal to 17. So, a is equal to 17. 17 is an odd number. Now we can clearly say that when a is odd, it is in the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, 6q plus 5 for some integer q. Hence proved. Example 2. Use Euclid's division lemma to show that the square of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m. Solution. Let A be a positive integer, Q be the quotient and R be the remainder. Dividing A by B using the Euclid's division lemma, we have A is equal to 3Q plus R where 0 less than equal to R less than 3. Values of R can be 0 or 1 or 2 as value of R is less than 3. Because for Euclid's lemma the condition is that remainder is always less than the divisor. Here B is divisor. What is its value? 3. Putting R is equal to 0 or 1 or 2. We get Case 1. If R is equal to 0, A is equal to 3Q plus 0. That is, A is equal to 3Q implies A square is equal to 9Q square. Here we can write 3 into 3Q square is equal to 3M. Assuming M is equal to 3Q square. Case 2. If R is equal to 1, a is equal to 3q plus 1 implies a square is equal to 3q plus 1 whole square. 
here we can use a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, 3q square plus 2 into 3q into 1 plus 1 square that is equal to 9q square plus 6q plus 1. What is common here? 3. Inside the bracket 3q square plus 2q implies 3 into inside the bracket 3q square plus 2q plus 1 is equal to 3m plus 1 assuming m is equal to 3q square plus 2q. Case 3 r is equal to 2 a is equal to 3q plus 2 implies a square is equal to 3q plus 2 whole square is equal to 9q square plus 12q plus 4 is equal to 9q square plus 12q plus here we can split 4 as 3 plus 1 so 9q square plus 12q plus 3 plus 1 what is common here 3 inside 3q square plus 4q plus 1 so 3 into inside the bracket 3q square plus 4q plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3m plus 1 assuming m is equal to 3q square plus 4q plus 1. Therefore, the square of any positive integer, say a square, is always of the form 3m or 3m plus 1. Hence proved. Example 3. Use Euclid's division lemma to show that the cube of any positive integer is either of the form 9m, 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8. Solution. Let a be any positive integer and b is equal to 3. Therefore, by Euclid's division lemma, we have a is equal to b cube plus r. r lies between 0 and b. a is equal to 3q plus r. 0 less than equal to r less than 3 because b is equal to 3 where q greater than equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 or 1 or 2. Case 1 r is equal to 0 a is equal to 3q. Case 2 r is equal to 1 a is equal to 3q plus 1. Case 3, r is equal to 2. A is equal to 3q plus 2. Case 1, a is equal to 3q. Now, a cube is equal to 3q whole cube is equal to 27q cube is equal to, here we can write 9 into 3q cube is equal to 9m where m is equal to 3q cube. Case 2 a is equal to 3q plus 1. Now a cube is equal to 3q plus 1 whole cube. Here we should use a plus b whole cube that identity that is equal to 27q cube plus 27q square plus 9q plus 1. Here 9 is common inside the bracket 3q cube plus 3q square plus q bracket close plus 1 is equal to 9m plus 1 where m is equal to 3q cube plus 3q square plus q. Case 3, 3q plus 2. Now, a cube is equal to 3q plus 2 whole cube. That is equal to 
ट्वेंटी सेवन क्यू क्यूब प्लस फिफ्टी फोर क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टी सिक्स क्यू प्लस एट नाइन इज कॉमन हियर इन साइड द ब्रैकेट थ्री क्यू क्यूब प्लस सिक्स क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस फोर क्यू ब्रैकेट क्लोज प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू नाइन एम प्लस एट वेर एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू क्यूब प्लस सिक्स क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस फोर क्यू दस द क्यूब ऑफ एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इज ऑफ द फॉर्म नाइन एम नाइन एम प्लस वन और नाइन एम प्लस एट मैथमेटिक्स गिवस अस होप दैट एवरी प्रॉब्लम हैज ए सॉल्यूशन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग